Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March, okay? A lot of you are going to be watching this in February. It could resonate in February, but it's really for the month of March. So this is a preview of what's to come for March. So what do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? That is a pretty big pile. We're not going to take it. What do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March? Well, I'm going to take those. Career. You're going to be re really focused on your career this month. Ant. Work. Achievement. Success, throne, position of authority, candle, you will be shown the way, coins, money will be coming to you. So this seems to be a theme for you, Scorpio. It does. Your career, your, something to do with your, some of you may be starting your own business, maybe you have your own business, whatever is happening, abundance is coming your way, we've seen this coming, it's going to continue to come. You're going to be shown the way, you're going to be put into a position of authority, you will be achieving success, you are a hard worker, everybody's going to see it, you're, some of you are going to be having, be, be becoming your own boss, if you're not already. If you already are, you're, you're going to see revenue. You're going to see more revenue. I also feel like you are going to be working with somebody. You're going to be working with another person that you are very, very compatible with. And I say that because when I picked up this deck, this card fell on the floor. And it, and it was upright. This, when I picked up this deck to use, to you, use for you, this, this card and this one, they both fell on the floor. Both eights. Now, eights are... Um, abundance. Eights are abundance. So you're going to, you are definitely headed towards abundance. If you, you may have had to leave something behind that, and it was emotionally disappointing, but you are headed towards abundance and you are going to be working with somebody that you can work very, 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 very well with. Okay. Um, this is, this is a couple that are going to be working together to create abundance. And these people, they have all the skills and they work together very, very, very well. So you're definitely going to be working with somebody that you, uh, can collaborate with and, and build some sort of financial security with. Either way, either way, money's coming to you. You are going to be achieving success. And it, it's not alone though. I just got to tell you. It's with somebody. It's with another person. But um, I do feel like uh, you're going to be in a position of authority because that card is there. Um, this is all about your money. It's about your career. You're going to be shown the way. You know, you really don't got nothing to worry about. But let's see what these cards have to say. What do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio is going to be sitting on a pretty throne, okay? You're going to be seeing success in the near future. You, you may be becoming the boss. We've been talking about this. You're the boss now. Oh, the sun card. The sun card is growth. It is a new day. It is a yes answer. It's a new beginning. It is a breakthrough. It's warmth. It's enlightenment. It's extremely happy. So you're going to be extremely happy with an outcome this month. This is a blessing as well. So you're going to be blessed in some way. You're going to be getting some sort of blessing. <laughs> Did I say it was the sun card? It's the star card. We have the sun card on the bottom. This is absolutely positively a blessing. This is a bright new day. This is shining, glowing, a wish being granted. This is guaranteed success. It is, this is a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. This is renewal. This is a rebirth. This is a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful time for you. You're going to be glowing. I'm telling you what. 
You are going to be glowing. You're going to be so happy. You are. You're going to be extremely happy with whatever is happening this month. You're being given a gift. I just want to keep saying that. This is a blessing. You are being blessed with something. Now, the tower or the uh, star card comes after the tower, so there may you probably have experienced some sort of upheaval or chaos. That and now you're in the position of authority. Now uh, that that broke down, that that crumbled. Now you are free. Now you're free to start and build a foundation. You know, to build the foundation that you wanted to build. You know, you're going to be building a new foundation. You are. And it's going to be successful. Very successful. So what do we what do we have for Scorpio? There it is. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss... I can't speak for no reason. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. There is another person here. I think it's a man and a woman. Could be two men, could be two women, but whatever. This is, I feel like it's a, it's a lover, okay? I do, I feel like it's a partner that you are going to, it could be, it doesn't have to be a lover, but I, or a marriage partner. I think it's somebody that you're, you, that you are uh, connected to in a very emotional way, put it that way. There's an emotional connection here. This is somebody that you have some sort of intimate connection with, you know, in a loving manner. So whoever you're doing this with is somebody that, you know, you're going to be conversing with, you're going to be making plans with, and it's going to, it's going to end in a successful note. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio in March? Happiness. Being shown, you know, candles that says this, you're going to be shown the way. A star is a guiding light. So there's some sort of guidance here. You're receiving some sort of guidance. Could be from somebody that has passed away. The star reversed. So this is feeling hopeless. Self-doubt. Don't let your doubts get in the way. Your wish is going to be granted. Don't doubt it for a second. You know, your doubts will bring you down. Let go of those doubts. You need to have faith. Have faith. Ooh, the devil. The devil. So there's some sort of temptation here. There could be some materialism. There could be ego. Don't let it go to your head. Don't let your success go to your head because, you know, the devil is ruled by the shadow. All is not as it seems. <coughs> there could be some sort of ego that gets in the way or materialism or greed. Somebody needs to be careful. They need to be careful. They do. You know, because there's an opportunity for happiness here. There's an opportunity for success. But there's also ego that could get in the way. This is a card. This is the this is like one of the main cards of ego. It is. So this is temptation, it's lust, it's greed, it's materialism, it's social pressure. The devil doesn't bring anything good, but nothing but instant gratification. Oh my goodness gracious. Next to the star reversal. Um don't let your ego get in the way. Don't let the, the ego, your ego get in the way of success. Hmm. Now this can be fear. The devil will bring you fear when you're being successful. They will. They'll bring you fear to doubt you. That's the devil energy. energy. The devil will whisper doubts in your ear. Trust me. So if you are having doubts, that is devil energy trying to not make you successful. That's just your ego thinking that you can't be. Anyhow, um, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is extreme happiness. It's emotional fulfillment. It is a blessing. It's a spiritual blessing. This is happily ever after. 
So you have an opportunity for happily ever after. But you have to, you're really going to have to keep your ego in check. Keep your ego in check. Make sure that you are um, not overdoing it. Make sure you're not uh, going overboard. You know what I mean? Don't, don't try to uh, show off. Don't show off. Hmm. Seven of Cups reversed. Now this is making a clear choice, seeing very, very clearly, coming out of confusion. There's multiple options here. You need to make your choices and make your choices um, with caution. Beware. Beware of the choices that you make, okay? Because you're going you're gonna to be put in a position of authority. Beware of the choices that you make. There is an opportunity for happiness. But you're going to have to be careful. With that devil card, you're going to have to be careful. Beware of false beginnings. Beware of the choices that you make. Because with this devil card, you know, don't go for instant gratification. Go for long-term success. Tower. I mean, it's interesting that I mentioned the tower. So there, this is this is a pivotal moment of change. There's going to be a tower moment that probably makes you uneasy. It may even make you emotional. Okay, with that star card under uh, over, but reversed above it. Okay, so I feel like I feel like you something is going to happen. It's a blessing in disguise is what it is. When it happens, or it happened, if it happened already, you may not see clearly why it happened. So there's going to be an event, okay? There's gonna be an event, it can't be avoided. So somebody might tell you it can be avoided. No, it can't be avoided. This event is going to happen to shake things up. This is gonna give you the opportunity to build this foundation that we are talking about. Okay, so you're going to be starting with a clean slate. You're going to be put in that position of authority. There's going to be a dismantling of something. Something is about to fall apart. Could be at where you work now. It could be in your home. Something is, or it already has fallen apart. Uh, the tower card is a structure or an establishment or something that is going to crumble. It's going to, it's going to crash. It's, it's going to, it's going to blow up, you know. Something is going to happen that is going to be chaotic. It's going to cause some chaos. chaos. There's going to be some fireworks. Somebody could get thrown out. Um, there's definitely going to be some fireworks. Um, and this, this is this is going to this is like a necessary evil. So there's going to be something that happens that dismantles a foundation that is built on false pretenses or it's built it's or it's just not stable it's not meant to last it, it just wasn't meant to last anyhow this is going to come crashing down but it's a blessing in disguise it is a blessing in disguise because everybody is going to see clearly this is this is seeing very very clearly what was inside they're going to see very very clearly what was going on some some sort of clarity is going to come some sort of clarity is going to come and then then there's going to be a need to build a new foundation so I don't know if there's some addictions here you may have something to do with drugs or drinking or something like that somebody may be going overboard they could be going overboard there, there, there could be an explosion there could be something that happens that is a shock you know, this is definitely a shock something is, is gonna if somebody has been hiding something you know behind walls and they think that they're getting away with it they're not gonna get away with it because there's going to be an uproar there's going to be um, Some chaos, put it that way. We have we have an individual here that is not happy with that star card reversed. They're not happy about something, and this person could be the one that shakes things up. So there is definitely going to be a shake up um, at home or in the job arena. Um,
Oh, it looks like, I mean, things are good. Things are going to get hot. Okay. Things are going to get hot really, 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 really fast. This is a very sudden, sudden change. There's going to be a sudden change. The, things are going to happen. This is like, you know, when it thunders and lightnings, it, lightning and, and, electri and electricity, you know, hits the wrong spot and, you know, a fire breaks out. Um, I'm, I'm not saying that there's going to be a fire or anything, but, I mean, we do have, uh, it's an emergency. <laughs> looks like an emergency to me I mean it does look like an emergency so anyhow um, but whatever is happening is is forcing change it's it's gonna force a change and there's some sort of clarity that is coming if there's been any confusion the confusion is gonna be gone okay it's, there's, it's this is clear it's clear that it's it's time to build another foundation you know, I think you're going to be building it on your own. Anyhow, and it's going to make you extremely, extremely, extremely happy. It is going to make you happy. So anyway, um, Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Now, it's going to be emotional. It is going to be emotional. Not, not looking for a relationship. You may have, you may be dealing with somebody that is retreating from a relationship they're retreating from a job and that's what puts you in the position of authority we could have somebody here that no longer has any emotion or uh desire or you know doesn't want to be in this relationship anymore so they're leaving you know i don't know if that's for you or somebody that you live with um Knight of Cups reversed is not wanting a relationship and it's right next to that Ten of Cups. And Tens are completion. So I'm not sure if somebody is leaving a relationship. They may be um, bound to something that is unhealthy and they have to leave because it's not stable. It's not secure, you know, and there, there's just too much chaos and there's too much um, unhappiness. Anyhow, um, On the bottom, on the bottom we have the King of Wands. So this is somebody that is taking action. This person is now in the position of authority. I don't know if it's a father figure. It could be a father figure. It could be a boss. Um, it could be a mother even. Anyway, this person is in the position of authority right now feels like they are about to take action. They have some sort of vision and they're going to do something. This person has a lot of life experience. They're looking for growth. And it looks like this person is about to get up and do something after they have made a decision to do so, which is interesting. Um, We do have somebody here that is not looking for to be in this establishment anymore. Remember when I saw when those two cards fell out? One of them was the Eight of Cups. So they're leaving behind an emotionally dissatisfying situation and they may be doing so because there's another relationship they may they may be making another choice to get involved with another relationship and it shakes up your foundation something like that there could be a change of residence here as well somebody could be moving out moving in something like that um there's definitely You're going to be shown the way. If you're going down a new path. You're going to be guided down a new path. There is going to be a fated event that shakes up your life and puts you in this position of authority that somebody else is in at the moment. You're going to be put in that position. I feel like whoever you are dealing with is leaving. They're leaving. Good luck.